Let's talk about gas stations on The Sopranos. So what the hell's wrong with me? My gas is simple gas. Actually, let's include gas as a whole. I always say he's full of hot air. Let's take a look at some of these gas station moments on The Sopranos and what they might signify or symbolize for the greater story. Tony. First, college. You never know what you're gonna find at gas stations. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Maybe it's the winning lotto ticket. Maybe it's your empty gas tank. Or maybe it's a rat. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'll call you back for the motel. I saw an old friend, that's all. You know that guy at the gas station? Maybe not. Probably not. Then what? <laughs> Dad, slow down! <laughs> Perhaps Bebby should have continued putting the pedal to the metal and gone out west. <coughs> Good morning, rat. Who are you? Talk about tunnel vision. Tony was so intent on catching up to Febby that he didn't really make anything of the fact that Meadow was talking to two older guys on the side of the road. Normally, he probably would have had some questions. How do I buy gas? Your allowance. Already owe mom. In this example here, of course, we're not at a gas station, but I think the whole gas thing highlights Meadow's privilege, and really, the privilege of everyone in that household. When they're shit out of luck, they're not really shit out of luck. They always have help when it's needed. I should get $10 a week, cash. No more. Till you get your card back. For gas. Here he comes. Hey, come on! If we think of The Sopranos as one big ride, I'd say this is a moment where we all can reflect on what's happened so far where they've been, where they are right now, where they're going. So here, what you'd think is an otherwise normal car ride, stopping to get gas, we know eventually turns into a night in the Pine Barrens, almost freezing to death. Let's take them down to Pine Barrens. That's South Jersey. It's perfect. We take them in the woods, dig a hole, end the story. I got a shovel I use for digging the car out. The best part is, we'd be like 20 minutes from AC. We get a room, freshen up, little blackjack. This way the day won't be a total loss. How could we be lost like this? We're in fucking New Jersey. South Jersey. Looks like a truck. You want to take it for a test drive? This is the beginning of the ride that continues in the test stream, as we see. Who is he? Where are they going? Lots of questions. You know what's fueling that ride? Gas. It looks like they're in the same car, on the same road. Where are we going from here? Driving you to the job. Ralph says, we're going to the job. What job? There are so many possibilities. As we see here in Eloise, season four, episode 12, we have a mixing here of the worlds, the civilian world and the mafia world, through Eugene approaching the juror in Junior Soprano's trial. That mob thing. That Junior Soprano trial. I got that. It's a privileged, hardworking guy, wife and two kids, performing a civic duty we should all take part in. We know you do the right thing. In addition to the legal ramifications for Junior here, as a result of this gas station encounter, gas stations in general can be symbolic of not just 
the surrounding community where people of all races, classes, statuses, backgrounds converge. It's also a place to take inventory, whether literally or mentally, of what's going on in your life, what you have, what you don't have, where you're going, where you just came from. It gives you time to think or forces you to think. This is another critical gas station moment on The Sopranos in long-term parking, season five, episode 12. This is just after Adriana's come clean with Christopher about her talking to the FBI. Christopher says he's going out to get some cigarettes. Adriana's reluctant to let him leave, but when he does, he pulls up to the gas station here to refuel and he sees a family. He looks at them getting back into the car to continue their ride, wherever they're riding to. And he thinks about whether or not he wants to be in that ride, or even whether he'd be able to tolerate it, or whether he should keep on riding with Tony Soprano. Where would they even ride to in that other car? It feels pretty tight and cramped. Not that the ride with Tony doesn't feel cramped, but at least it's the devil he knows, right? Adriana, on the other hand, gets a different ride. Here, we have another ride, one where the driver doesn't really know where he's going. All he knows is that if he stays in the current place, he won't be going on too many more rides. But as we see, we often end up returning to the rides that hurt us the most. Maybe it's because they're the most thrilling. Maybe it's because they're the only rides we know. This episode sure has the perfect name, The Ride, Season 6, Episode 9. In many ways, this is like Christopher and Tony's final ride together. Their final one that doesn't end with one of them being dead. Yeehaw! Here we are, made in America. We have a very big gas station moment later on in the episode with Phil, of course. But for now, Polly drives past the gas station, but he doesn't stop. There isn't a payphone, apparently. Every ride is different, right? Not all gas stations have the same fuel or resources that you're looking for. In the line of duty, but we're short-handed. Anyway, mid-60s, probably used the payphones. We don't have payphones. Just a couple of stations have them anymore. When the man says just a couple of gas stations still have payphones, it makes me think of time and change and how both time and change are inevitable. Sometimes the roads will change, new vehicles will come, old vehicles will go away. And for the grand finale of Sopranos gas station moments, here we are, Phil Leotardo, his wife Patty, and their two little grandkids in the back seat. Tell the goddamn pharmacist to call Dr. Iaconis. I should get a 60-day supply. If Furio Junta were still there, he'd probably say something along the lines of, bet with your head, not over it. At least my gas tank was practically empty. David Chase has commented on his use of gas, oil, gas stations, etc., as symbolic of larger forces at work in society, like war in the Middle East, our dependence on foreign oil, and other associated domestic and or global issues surrounding energy. We have to break our dependence on foreign oil. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this latest video. Also, if you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Sopranos Blueprint. Gas break. Gas break.